My standard 5.2, I chose to do question 5.5 five from our textbook. And this question asks us to calculate the expectation values and the uncertainties of position and momentum for the infinite square well energy eigenstates. From our textbook, we know we can determine expectation value by determining the weighted average of the product of the probability of finding the electron at a specific position. Observe that this is true. So this is the equation we'll use to solve for expectation value. The wave function we will use is the allowed energy eigenstates for an infinite well, which is also derived in our textbook as this. Plugging this in and using the fact that expectation values uh, will be the same for every energy eigenstate of the system, we can solve for the expectation value of position for a particle in a square well. Since every eigenstate will yield the same result, let's use the ground state, and that's n equals 1. So plugging n equals 1 into this and plugging it into our equation for expectation value, we are left with this. And we can combine terms and do a u substitution, where our u is equal to pi x over, over l. We get this, integrating and plugging our bounds, we are left with expectation value of position is L over 2. Considering the symmetry of the problem, this makes a lot of sense, since there is no preference for the left or right side of the well. The average position is that measurements must be the midpoint of the well. The operator representing momentum is given in our textbook as this. Following the same process, we can solve for the expectation value of momentum. Is this? Uh, after taking a spatial derivative and using a u substitution, we, uh, where u is again pi x over l, we have this. We integrate and plug in our bounds, and we find that this term is equal to zero. So our expectation value for momentum is zero. This makes sense. If we picture the allowed en energy levels in the well as standing waves that fit into the well, Stain waves have no net flow of energy in either direction, so it makes sense that the expectation value of momentum is zero. Now to calculate the uncertainties for both cases. This is just the standard deviation, which is defined as this. To use this equation, we must find the expectation value of x squared. So here's this. So using the u sub earlier that we used Earlier, we can write this as this, and we find that the expectation value of x squared is 0.283 L squared. Now we can plug this into our equation for standard deviation, and we get 0.182 L for our standard deviation for position. Again, to solve for the uncertainty and momentum, we must first solve the expectation value of P squared. So following the same process, Doing another u sub where u is equal to pi x over l. We're left with this. Plug in our bounds, we find that the expectation value of p squared is h bar squared pi squared over l squared. Now we can use this result to solve for uncertainty and momentum, and we get h pi over l. Uh, this is my standard 5.2.